So dead cells, viewer bill number something. I didn't like number the first 10 or so. I used letters. I don't know why. Uh, but today's build, today is courtesy of Squirrel412, not to be confused with Rabid Squirrel, which is a completely different person. This is Hayabusa Boots, Frontline Shield, Flamethrower in the Backpack, and Grapple Hook, which we've been saying Grapple Hook has been feeling pretty decently lately. Maybe we can bring in um, some of the new stuff, Execute, whatever else is new. <laughs> um, and I also... I still get a lot of questions about these tubes. Um, the tubes come from a scroll that drops from Hand of the King when you beat uh, 1 BC. I think it's 150 cells or something like that. Like, it's a decent number, to be fair. Um, Hayabusa Boots is... It's not bad. My thought is that there's going to not be a lot of... Um, cool things that the boots are going to do that I couldn't do with something else. And I'm hoping I'm wrong. There might be a map where these boots, the Jordans, pop off. And we just don't know. Like, see all these rats? The boots are kind of okay with stuff like that. Where you do the jump in the air. Mid-air somersault. See, it does have the push into the wall. But like, I don't know. I don't know if that's enough to really move the needle. Ooh, I did not do that parry at all. Why not just use Spartans? Um... So there's some bosses that Spartans isn't gonna kill. And like, you could say, yeah, then use like two weapons. Have Spartans on the front. And then like a different weapon after that probably personal preference just what's really cool is that the uh, Hayabusa's have kind of an AOE knockback that you can do in the sky I'm hoping that's enough to really move the needle so how do we use this we have Hayabusa boots typically I would take melee mutation with this because the scary part is like having to dance around the monsters spamming the square I think you take it still I feel like I'm gonna be weak but maybe it's okay. Hey everybody, just a super quick interruption. According to YouTube, only about a third of you are actually subscribed. If you do like this video, consider subscribing. And of course, you can always unsubscribe later. Either way, enjoy the rest of the vid. What is this collector? So in 5 BC, you get a baby collector. It's not spoilery, I think. But just imagine that your, your reward for playing 5 BC Almost like you get a baby Yoda, instead you get a baby collector. Alright. I was kind of afraid of the uh, thorny. Because I wasn't exactly sure how to kick it, but we figured it out. See, stuff like that I think is kind of cool. Prepping up the combo, jumping up, getting the back hit. I'm trying not to get shot. And then the freaking <laughs> thing up there. Hey, like, come on. There we go. Wow. It's like extra difficult for some reason. Rift in secret area. 
wow it was <laughs> it was actually just right there all right not bad um so the other thought process is that now that we have the new legendary system where the stats are like put together for a legendary item maybe you put all your triple stats into one and then your dual scrolls maybe you put into one and again i can't say that that's like insane technology because all of this stuff is basically brand new so it's equally possible that it's bad that it could be like insanely good if you alternate between the two lowest that's how you get the maximum health so even if I'm going for legendary item and I decide that Okay, I'm going to put all my dual scrolls into one color. At the end, you're actually net less health. Because you're not alternating. Bonus damage to poison generates poison around the trap. Bonus damage while you're near the trap. Wow. Okay, I'm trying to think, like, what do I need to kill a slasher before it kills me? I think Scheme would do it. And I can always go execute later. Just realize V is part of Wholesome Verse. Hey, Tio. Uh, yeah, that's fairly new, maybe a couple months old. We've been playing with Wholesome Verse Squad every Wednesday. Um, so last Wednesday, we actually played Project Winter. Uh, where me and Wanderbots got the, uh, the dubbed as imposters. Even though it was like a super cursed run. I had no idea what was happening. And then after that, we played a brand new pre-alpha game. It's kind of cool. Oh, are we dead here? Oh my god, if that lightning tapped me, I would have lost. That is very bad. So see there how I like held the combo? So I can try to uh, do the somersault. I feel like that's stuff that only high boost of boost can do. Um. Mm -hmm. Didn't dodge roll in time. Oops. But it's super cool gameplay. I just don't know if it's enough to like really move the needle. Like if I had Hayabusa gauntlets, could I have killed them without having to use my brain? That's my thought. He got 60. That's gotta be a good sign. Oh, you can keep the combo going. You knock them back, hook them in. I actually don't know how I didn't get hit there by the Lacerator. That thing definitely went right through me. Maybe that's something that the, uh... Boots could use as an upgrade. When you do that, the somersault, it only knocks away one bomb. Which is a little weird, because clearly you're hitting a lot more than that. 
Wow, that aggroed me. So if you look at this monster, see how only one bomb got knocked away? And like, I don't even get to choose which bomb it is. Like, why did it do this one all the way over here instead of the three that were like on my head? I have no idea. Wish Iron Staff had synergy with anything. It is a very good standalone weapon. In all honesty, we're starting to just do like one attack. Like, I don't even do the full combo half the time. I just tap it once with counter attack or whatever other parry mutations I have. I don't even try to do more than one attack. I feel like that's a recipe for a disaster. Final mutation. I think we're gonna do No Mercy here. Right now, we're in the thought that No Mercy is really good because that's 10% of the boss I don't have to play with. Even if your weapon is really bad, like if you have an F rank weapon, not having to deal with 10% uh, of a monster, of a boss, maybe that's worth. Oh, the worm executed it. Hayabusa boots are necessarily bad. The only thing I might request is to knock away all the bombs. And not just the one. I think that's fair. This has to die. Okay. Got some gameplay. Double jump and roll through. Okay, I don't know if I actually did anything there. Kek W enable? No, it's not. <laughs> Imagine having Kek W in here. Like, if I do anything at all, it's a, a Kek W instantly. Oh, V got hit by a, a bat, Kek W. <laughs> no parry, Kek W. Missed easiest parry. Streamer can't see challenge rift, Kek W. <laughs> it's like, okay. Another? Parry? Oh, did I not get that? Okay, I mean, I'm okay with not getting it. Clearly, clearly the game knows and I don't. Yeah, that's another one. No 60 Kek W. <laughs> Streamer can't get 60 kills Kek W. Uh, what's the execute? That's the mutation on the far right. It's called Nerve Mercy. Nerve Mercy. Okay, so first boss. Um, I don't really have a plan, and I don't know if I'm allowed to swap out the, um... Oh, wow. I'm really surprised that connected. Oh, the flotation. Oh, actually, they buffed flotation. I forgot about that. In the alpha, now there's a lot more... Freedom for the player to be able to flotate. See, that didn't look <laughs> all that special. So my goal is for Execute to carry me through. Like, I just gotta get conjunct down to 10%. Flamethrower? Is it AFK? Oh, there we go. That's what we want to see. Still hitting it? Ooh. Grapple's like destroying this thing. The other one didn't come up. 
it danced around me the entire time and didn't come up. It's awful. See, so that's a F. Or a Kek W. <laughs> Got hit by Tentacle, Kek W. Crap. Can't hit this thing. There we go. <laughs> Uh, that's fine. I mean, not gonna lie, that didn't look awful. I still think if I had, you know, a different weapon, I could have done that faster. But in all honesty, I think the Hayabusa boots with the somersault, I think was screwing up the boss. Between that and the grapple hook, the boss barely did anything. Yo, Cakes in the chat. Oh, Lexi. Oh, Lanky. By his friends. Yo, welcome. Happy to have you here. I saw you were playing a um a mix of Isaac and Celeste. Uh, but it was some kind of like daddy's home challenge or something like that. I'm sure whatever it is, it's amazing. And definitely thank you for bringing your community in here, Alexa. And good to see you too, Orbital. Uh, was able to be Zero PC for the first time. Thanks to you, B... Been playing very safe with turrets. Yeah, that's the classic setup. I feel like turret gameplay is enough to get you through most of the game because turrets are just really good right now and were never nerfed in any capacity. Except, I guess, um, heavy turret. You have to do the prediction. I have to. <laughs> Is that so? What happens if I don't? Oh, Not a ton of the top three builds we're, were straight up nerfed. Only a couple of like the most destructive ones. <laughs> Stuff like dual Valmont's whip, Berserker as red, like that kind of stuff. Okay, so we already found the curse. I know there's a bunch of monsters below me. I just want to make sure there's no elite. Honestly, this early curse is great. But having an elite caster, for example, could be really bad. Okay, I think we're fine. I believe open wounds comes from the Lacerator. Not the Lacerator. I think it comes from Impaler. No, it is Lacerator, the spinny guy. How good is Flawless? I think it's good. It's probably one of the best survival weapons with an Ice Shard in front of it. No, and like I... No, no, no. Look at that damage. That might be a Kek W as well. <laughs> Use Ice Shards, Kek W. I get it. But that is a scenario where it's actually fairly decent. Okay, got one alien, Lacerator, Bomber, Inquisitor. There's the elite. I knew freaking something like that was going to happen. And it's a caster elite too. Ooh, that jump away was sick. Ooh, Legendary Boy. Dual bound, another elite caster. Oh, I thought I was dead. I actually thought I lost the run because I couldn't get through this freaking hole. All right. So, elite alien executed. It's pretty good. Yeah, okay, we got the executes happening. Wow. OP hitbox. Execute triple S. Wow. V hit by an axe, Kek W. <laughs> 
<laughs> didn't press circle, Keck W. See? You can't enable that thing. Nice dodge. Yeah, so whoever said that execute is kind of like a buff to shields. You can kind of see that if you do the parry and the monster probably won't die to it, now, like, chances are pretty high. Which is actually really nice. Again, it's like every monster has 10% less HP. Okay, so again, I like to show this every once in a while. Do not break the door. Instead, use the door to your advantage. Retweet to save a life. <laughs> Retweet to save a streamer from a Keck W. How's Dead Cells? You try it once, but you sucked at it. So we have a lot of hours in this game. Like, a lot of a lot. Well, maybe not a lot of a lot, but a decent amount. Um, we're at the point where we're playing Dead Cells with viewer builds. This is actually a build submitted by Squirrel in the chat. I don't think Squirrel's here right now. So we have fun with the game pretty much every stream. Just gonna wait for my cooldown. That thing didn't die, by the way. How in the world? So it's fun to play the game pretty much all the time. We've kind of turned this into the main game on the channel. Though we are trying to learn um, some other stuff. For example, I was going to play Loop Hero today. I'm not very far in Loop Hero at all. Knock on wood, we haven't died in Cavern in a while. Been chilling. Oh, I should let that transform. Wow, grapple hook? What's grapple hook on the tier list, everybody? Is this a an A or a B? Crap. Okay, we're fine. Did I just hear something spin? What in the world? Wait, it teleported to me with the spin animation. Um, I think someone said that they struggle with Torch. Um, I too struggle... I'm gonna drink off that. That was actually toxic. The grapple hook shoved me into the rocks because the monster pushed me. Um, so... I do struggle with Torch sometimes. Or at least I did for the tier list. And I always have. Like, every tier list, I struggle, like, putting Torch high up. But I have to remember that it's not a tier list based off of fun factor. I think I have issues with the item being enjoyable. Sometimes it's like kind of boring. But it is actually good. Like if you get melee mutation, which slows enemies on hit. And you make sure that you have burning oil stuff. It's actually really strong. It's probably the easiest fire in the game. Next to using Molotov. And sometimes you don't want to use Molotov. Like you want a shield. Right now we are deep in dead cells. 25 red. 7 green. Why I have 7 green? Don't ask. Because I have no idea. Wow.
There we go. Wow, I'm surprised I didn't get hit. And I'm still trying to decide if I'm going to Scarecrow or if I'm going to Giant. I kind of want to go Scarecrow. Only because I want to see like how good Cudgel is in that fight. How long Scarecrow actually stays stunned. And combine that with the Grapple Hook, like maybe that's good? It is Scarecrow though. Giant is whatever. Like the Hayabusa boots aren't all that great in that fight, but they aren't really going to be great anywhere except maybe Scarecrow. All right. Finally, we're back in the game. Quad bread. Okay. We have a game. I didn't know you could have a game. You know, these Hayabusas are actually kind of doing stuff. I'm going to kill that. I was going to let it transform. I didn't want a bad thing to happen. Now, are the Hayabusas doing stuff because I have Execute? Or is it, like, a real weapon? Or is it because I have 30 stats and a quadruple bread amulet? Wow. Executed. Or is it a grapple hook? Maybe grapple hook's doing all the work. And that always leads to, like, some struggles when we actually have to measure this stuff. Or rate the build. We've been doing ratings at the end of every viewer build. Is it really a 10 out of 10? Or am I just, like, super lucky? Not gonna go for the double. Maybe it depends on if I can kill Scarecrow. Maybe that's the true measurement. Like, the only way you all can fairly put 10 out of 10 is if it kills Scarecrow. Otherwise, it doesn't count. Actual 0 out of 10 weapon. Don't forget to check the damage numbers on it. Good idea. Okay, so this thing does a little more damage than the frontline shield. And I think that's because Cudgel might do the least damage on parry. But what I really want to take this for is because we're going to fight Scarecrow. And I don't really know how long Scarecrow stays stunned, but I'd like to see it. Because it could be, like, a lot of time I get to fight the Scarecrow. Will this one be on YouTube? Probably. Depends on if I die the Scarecrow or not, I guess. Yeah, so this has burning oil damage. This spreads the oil. And does burning oil damage. And then this thing is my fire. So I want to say, like, all of that stuff... ...is all there. We're gonna reset. We get Scheme, Disengage, No Mercy. Because again, we want to see if having 15% less of a boss makes this a little easier. Okay, gonna toss that in. Just so it's already active. Am I cool? Oh, that's... That kills the poison. So I can't do that. Hurry, I mean, you know, we just hope to get a parry off. Let it get stunned. It did not stun at all. Got hit. Oh my god. Is this thing immune to stun? Yeah, look at that. It doesn't care. The goal was to, like, do the one parry with the cudgel, and then it's just, like, sitting there on the ground. And we're just, like, beating on it. Bosses are immune to stun, not all of them. 
every boss can be stunned except for Giant and Hand of the King, and now also Scarecrow. Even the spoiler boss can be stunned. I have 3,000 health. Is that real? <laughs> Did we screw up somewhere? That's fine. Glass cannon brutality. Ah, I see. Okay, so there's... So I can't even, like, really keep the monster stunned because it's just gonna die to the execute. Which is hilarious, actually. I mean, the game's hard enough as is. Can't be going around testing with only 3,000 health. Oh, yeah, I don't think I can actually replace the amulet I have. I don't know if it's possible to get a better amulet at this point. Ooh. Ooh. The roundhouse kick. Shoutouts to all my uh, former and current martial artists in the chat. You could be like me. You know, you're a little old. But you got your belts hanging on the wall. Yo, we're jamming right now. It used to take us forever to get through High Peak Castle, but now this map is like super quick. Well, it depends on the build too, because whenever we get a build, I have to fight those stupid lieutenant things. Never remember the name. They're like mini baby Hand of the Kings. Those things are actually evil. That right there. Tier S enemy for sure. I am trying to check corners, make sure there's no like uninfected food. Oh my goodness, the execute. I have no health. This is outrageous. 34 red for Hand of the King. That's like really good. Thank you for the viewer build, by the way. Of course, if you want to submit your own builds, uh, we do not take viewer builds from the comments. But feel free to just post up in the comments that you think is cool. Maybe that'll give somebody an idea of what they want to submit with their V-Bucks. Huh, and I'm thinking maybe what we bring in Armadillo happened? Pack. So that if I do actually, you know, have him to throw out the bombs, Cudgel will allow me to convert all of those bombs into mine. Uh, so I think we're going to do that. I'm not going to go disengage because I went disengage on Scarecrow and I didn't need it. Like I did take a hit, but I just like beat it down. So I think we're fine. Famous last words. Uh, War Din with the Prime. I think that's your first Prime sub. Thank you, War. That's War saying that V, of all these people who I could give a Prime sub to, thousands, hundreds of thousands at this point, I'm going to drop it here. So thank you, War. Wow. <laughs> that's funny. So my skin randomly changes. So, <laughs> apologize. This is this is like cool little stuff, you know. Don't don't worry about it. There's a lot of skins in the game. Oh, I thought I actually went in front of the boss. See how I converted all of those bombs? That did so much damage. Oh, give me the execute. Oh, there we go. I was like, please do not hit me before this thing gets executed. Yo, let's go. We got the lore kill. It's a skin. That's... That's all you gotta know. It's a skin. 
<laughs> for those of you here for the first time, welcome. I'm V.me. We are currently in the transition room right after the first boss. Not the first boss, after the Hand of the King. Uh, we wanted a legendary grapple hook, but apparently it's not better than a standard grapple hook. So we'll ditch it. I'm not quite willing to test it in the biome for the risk that I lose the one I currently have. How do y'all feel about this No Mercy, by the way? Is this thing legit? The Execute. Broken. Busted. Broken. Should be survival. It's pretty interesting. I think the issue is that if you make it survival, would people still take it if it's like, if it starts at 5% and goes up to 15% like it does today? Would people still take it? And that's not to say that they shouldn't take it. But like, is the idea that, from a dev standpoint, maybe you don't want people to off-stat stuff, so let's just make it colorless? I don't know. Okay. Had no idea what that thing was doing. See how you can like, extend the combo to the next platform? And it actually is like, kinda decent. Ooh, thank you, Execute. Love to see it. Come on, game. Just give me the legendary Hayabusa Gauntlet. A uh, boots. Not gone. Okay, we're doing a lot of damage, and that, you know, might be the 34 bread. Did you all see that? Uh-huh. It's, it's kind of interesting. The coveted 38 red game? Is this the one? Can't be. Not with Hayabusa boots. Back in my day, we had 38 all the time. You kids in chat don't know how, uh... How good it is to finally be back at 38. Wow, you know I'm tryharding when I'm pressing triangle. Like, this is not standard V.me gameplay right here. Standard V.Pipega gameplay. Okay. Boots are pretty good at killing the Librarian. That's always nice. Really didn't want to aggro that. Ooh, 159 to the neck. Remember, you can all... I was facing the wrong way. No, 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 no. Look at that damage. Look I... That. I might have to play with directional pad. <laughs> Kek W streamer plays with analog stick. Nice analog stick, Kek W. <laughs> oh, jeez. Alright, but we made it. Uh, no rerolls. I think I'm gonna swap to this. Which does... It does do more damage. Confirmed. Final build, scheme. 
open wounds support only does 10% because I have one purple that was uh it's a little bit of a mistake but you know what not a big deal 10% maybe that's still fine no hit or bust that's what this is going to be um no backpack mutation because this boss half the time the backpack mutations don't work no execute either well, Acrobatty Pack works, but Armadillo Pack does not work very well in this fight. Final boss content. Spoilerino. We have Grapple. We have Flamethrower. We have Cudgel. I don't have any way to deal with the Laser Beam. Oh my goodness, I couldn't jump. See the stun? And he still keeps attacking. Well, that's certainly not what I thought was gonna happen. I was pretty sure the boss would change the plan. Apparently not. Those are my favorite. The instantaneous. Prediction failure. See, he even gets stunned during that. hate that when I can't move so yeah it does get stunned but apparently he'll come out of the stun and still stab you rather than like deciding oh okay I guess he doesn't like getting stabbed I'll spin instead that was the thought and we did bait ourselves a little bit <laughs> it's fine I mean I'll take it now we know. That's what this uh, stream's all about. We always want to learn. I swear, every time I play this game, we learn something new. So if we can do that, like every stream, you know, that's fine. Now we know, Cudgel, be ready to dodge after he comes out of stun. Yo, but that is a successful viewer build. Um, we gotta give it a rating. I need you all to let me know, is that build the hit, or is that not the hit? Uh, 0 out of 10, 0 being Hayabusa's, keep them in the garbage can. Don't bring them back out, don't let them see the light of day. 10 out of 10, where, you know, forget about the 35 scrolls. Either way, that's what a 10 out of 10 is.